Hello everyone. So today's uh, video, I'm going to show you how to download Octave for Mac uh, OS. Okay. So for this, I assume that you have a, a Mac uh, with you, which has a yeah. So I'm using Mac OS Mojave version 10.14.5. So at least you have this uh, or a higher maybe version of Mac uh, uh, which you are using. So firstly, I assume that you have a internet connection and you go to google and you search for octave for mac and then we get this uh, results so the first result that we get is for our gnu octave and you can go there right and we'll see what the results are and we can also go for octave for mac OS. the third result that you get is octave okay so let's see how the, so here this is the first gnu octave so you get some downloads here and the this is the home page so what you can do is click here and you'll find the windows you have these packages dot uh, exe file for windows 64 then bsd then for mac os you will find that octave wiki has the installation instructions for octave on mac os and you can also use third party managers such as homebrew macport or fink so for that you'll have to use the terminal uh, and these third party packages but uh, i'm not going to do that and uh, i'm going to go to octave wiki and if you click here so we are directed to a page wiki.octave.org okay so here you'll find that different uh, options are there so installing a mac os app bundle so as a bundle it's always easy because uh, you have all the latest packages that are there so in here you have these uh, mac os app bundle octave 4.4.x with gui so it's easier to use a graphical user interface based octave version and you can go to the latest one here and if you click on this we are directed to this page remember this octave-app.org slash developer dash download.html so you can either go directly over here or you can go for mac os octave for mac os in wiki.octave the result that we get from the google okay the third result in the order you, your uh, algorithm might be different you might also get this as the first uh, uh, result when you search for it anyways so when you go for this you get this octave.app so you have the current releases so you can go for older versions also but uh, what I, is always a, uh, ideal is that you go for the uh, best or the latest version so here you have this octave 5.2.0 beta 2 dmg so you can download this i have already downloaded this over here i have this so and then if i install this what i get is uh, installer here and i'm asked to copy this in applications i've already done that so i'm going to show you in applications where i have so i already have the version of take 4.4.0 and this is 5.2.0 the latest one once I've, I've copied this that i get so i'm gonna go and start off with this octave 5.2.2 and double click over here okay hang on a second so what I can do is I can go to launchpad I can select on octave 5.2.2 okay if I do that I get this verifying of octave 5.2.2 okay so let's see what happens and I'll pause here the video so that I know what's happening after this okay so we get this in uh, after the verifying is over we get this uh, message octave 5.2 dot zero can't be open because it is from an identified developer so your security preferences allow installation of only apps from uh, app store and identified developers okay so so we downloaded this file from chrome uh, from octave-app.org so we go for selecting okay and what you can do is uh, so we can go to system preferences and uh, in your mac and go for security and privacy once you double click over here you will find that this option was there okay so what we have to do here is open anyway or let us say we unlock this and you'll be asked to uh, give you a pass password to unlock this uh, software okay it's unlocked so we can go for open anyway select that Yeah, so verifying of octave 5.2.0 continues i can minimize this because i don't need it anymore and let's wait for this to finish i'll pause the video here again 
again you will find that you get this message uh, after the verification over that 5.2.0 of octave version identified developer uh, and we, I will be sure to open it uh, and since we have downloaded this from the official web page I don't see there should be any issue with that so we should go for it and it should be safe so we select open then we see what happens let me pause the video again okay so so what happened was uh, after the uh, your uh, uh, verification and uh, selection command was came for uh, opening it up so we did that and then you can see that these are the threads where I try to open it and it uh, after that we get this octave uh, that comes up all right so that's how you install using the packages uh, in uh, from this part octave dash app dot org developer dash download html you can directly go to this also and then come across your your uh, app and you can download this uh, remember it's always better to download the latest version so you can go for any of the versions okay that you want and then it's uh, easy to use and we all know how to use octave so i have a file here that i want to open say from desktop I have this one okay I'm clicking it so this is a plot of uh, pi and sine of pi so if I run this so none so I get this result so yeah it's functioning all right I can always zoom it and do other necessary things so this this that's all for today hope you had fun uh, understanding this and uh, learning of this so as much as I had uh, there was a little bit of hiccup and trouble while doing it but uh, i hope uh, you don't have any queries or you don't have any problem doing the same for yourself okay i'll see you soon then thank you everybody